Hello, Steve Hogan, uh, Mayor of Camas. Thank you for joining us today. This is the May update for the City of Camas. So first things first. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is our City Administrator search that we just completed, or we're in the process of completing. Uh, we had four candidates, wonderful candidates, that came into Camas and interviewed. We had um, people from the public that were on panels to help us interview. We had the staff interview. We had the Downtown Camas Association um, familiarize the candidates with the downtown area. All the candidates took a ride around Camas and had uh, the uh, some of the directors of the organization explain to them what the facilities were and how we operated. We started the process with 34 candidates that applied. We brought it down to four candidates. We called those four candidates in, and um, they were great. They, they were uh, they had great backgrounds. They had a lot of diversified uh, a diversity of backgrounds and strengths that were awesome. Um, they've done great jobs where they've worked before. However, when we talk about the city of Camas, we've got some pretty unique and significant issues that we're dealing with right now. And when I talk about that, then talking about the fire issues we have, the fact we're moving to uh, enterprise resource planning, ERP computer system to update the whole system for the city. That'll be a three-year process. We have uh, significant facilities that need to be addressed and uh, uh, figured out how we're going to deal with those things and that ties into finance. And so there's more than just the average city administrator um, issues that we're dealing with. So we're looking for somebody that really has more of a seasoned background and more or less a person that has city manager um, skill sets rather than city administrators. But we want what we really need. And unfortunately, none of the candidates had the whole package and so we've decided that we'll just not pick any of those and we'll continue to look. So really when it comes down to it, what we're looking for is we want to make sure we come up with a woman or a man that is the right fit for Camus in this job. So we're going to keep looking. Switching gears, I want to talk about the Crown Park project. This week we had an open house up at Crown Park Lots of people came out. There's lots of passion. It, Crown Park is one of our crown jewels, and we're really interested in getting input from the total community as to how you want to see that get developed. There's options that are being looked at, and we're working hard to get your opinion of which options you want to see. So I appreciate all the people that have come out. You can still go on Engage Camus and put input, your input, into the system on the options you like the most, please do that. Go to the Engage Canvas website. And I'd like to thank a new member that's joined the Parks Commission, Jenny Wu. She's uh, new, but she was up there working with the rest of the commission, and uh, they did a great job. It was a great presentation. Once again, thank you to all of you that made it. Next, I'd like to talk about the fact that the city is switching over its computer system. We're going to a system called ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, and implementation of this change will take three years. Ultimately, the objectives are to streamline what we do, simplify what we do, and um, it basically will make it much easier for our employees and for citizens to navigate their way through our computer system. So um, it's a big lift. It's a huge part of uh, what our staff will be working on the next few months. It's critically um, uh, important and uh, it ties into cybersecurity too. We're trying to beef up the cybersecurity and protect the assets we have from being uh, hacked into. And Another point is we're getting into spring. You may not know it with the rain we're getting, but we are. We have entered spring, and uh, 
I want to thank all the people that volunteer in the community and the employees around the city for working on things like the Ivy Pole. Uh, they celebrated five years on that uh, that group for pulling ivy in the community and uh, helping us get rid of those noxious uh, plants. And um, we had Earth Day in downtown. People came down, there were over 100 people, close to 200 people that worked to beautify the downtown and our staff was down there, uh, has been down there for the last few weeks. Uh, beautifying the downtown. I want to thank them. We can't do it alone. We need you to participate. Um, Earth Day was here and it was uh, a lot of fun to be down there and be a part of that action myself with my wife and uh, thank you for being there too. And finally I'd like to talk about uh, getting feedback from from the community about our staff. Uh, we're very proud of our staff. We know we're in the service business. We are out there every day trying to make sure that your water and your streets and uh, your garbage and uh, all the other community services, fire, police, uh, EMS, you name it, we take pride in delivering great service to you and we want feedback, good or bad. Uh, we want to know uh, uh, what you do appreciate and we also want to improve what we're doing on a daily basis so we appreciate your feedback please get it to us if you can and look forward to talking to you next month uh, meanwhile stay dry and let's uh, say a few prayers that the sun will come out and will warm up here so thank you very much and take care